Yo, what's up, guys? NASCAR fan 2048 here today. And today, I'm going to be playing Rush the Rock. Actually, a review of Rush the Rock, the original Xbox version on Midway Arcade Treasure 3. So, you guys, I've been wanting to review this version for quite a while, so here we go. Okay. Which direction? I think I'll be using the rock this one. How far should I be? I think I'll be this one. Okay. Automatic. Okay. What is up with the audio? This doesn't sound like Rush the Rock at all. Sounds like a cheap, horrible knockoff. It controls okay, though. The graphics are, are, are a little better than the arcade version, but, but wow, am I sucking right now? I really don't like this announcer. You know, I got Jake to be the track. This music track sucks. Let's go, let's go number six. Music track number six. Okay. Plan. And yes, I've actually played the original arcade version. Yeah, an actual cabinet and on main. So yeah. Another thing to know. All of the cars in this version, including the extreme cars that are locked in a cage, have beginner handling. I don't like that at all. I'm pretty disappointed with this port. It's just not right having all the audio altered. physics have changed too. And another thing I'm no actually notice is that it actually looks like the picture is zoomed in a bit, but not the graphical user interface of GUI. But I must admit. Oh! Also, when Midway made this port, port they said that it was going to be the 100% accurate to the arcade version. Well, that's wrong, because this is nothing like the arcade version. Okay, gas is the right trigger. The brake is the left trigger. You steer with the thumbstick. What the thumbstick? You change your music track with Y, the Y button. X is shift up, A is shift down. I think B is reverse. So yeah, I'm really disappointed with this port. This port's not very good. In fact, it's not good at all. But if you compare it to the arcade version. The steering messed up there. That's another problem this version has. Sometimes the steering messes up. Okay, we're driving on Alcatraz, however. Which is nice. But this port sucks. I can't do it anymore! Sorry, I had to mock that. Okay, we're almost at the finish line. Side. This is, I won the race, but the San Francisco Rush games, I'm a huge fan of them, but this port sucks. It's like one of the worst I've played in the series, a specific port. What's your name? You have killed the What's Your Name song. 
And yes, I'm entering my actual name. Okay, time for my rating. I give this, I give this port here, I give it a 3 out of 10. Because of how bad the, because the, they actually altered the audio and changed the physics. And also, final verdict. Would I recommend this port? Absolutely not. If you really want to play Rush the Rock, I'd really recommend emulating it on MAME. And besides, MAME is free. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'll see you later. Goodbye.